For nearly a year, a serial killer stalked the streets of Gotham City. His identity was unknown, only that he struck on holidays. Incredibly enough, just one person was shot at by Holiday and survived. Why was he left alive remains something of a riddle to this day. Edward Nigma is obsessed with riddles. Just as Holiday left objects to represent the dates of the killings, Nigma commits crimes with riddles to challenge his would-be captors. I can do this all night. And I don't think you can, Riddler. Question. What can you only do going down and never going up? Answer. Fall. Now, someone else in Gotham City has committed murder and left an odd clue behind as to his or her identity. Talk to me about Chief O'Hara. Um, who was the chief of police, Clancy O'Hara, who was hanged by some sort of rope or cord off this bridge? There was a note pinned to the body. A note? Why wasn't a note mentioned in the newspapers? The police kept it out, for now. This is a copy of the note. It depicts a children's game. It is a challenge to do this upside down. It's hangman, isn't it? Study it. Come back with something I don't know. And if I can't? You will. I always liked the view from that chair. O'Hara's death weighs the heaviest on Jim Gordon. As the newly appointed police commissioner, he'll be flooded from pressure from both inside the department and out. Gil, I wish you had let me know you were coming downtown. I could have... You could have what, Jimmy? Made sure you were out for lunch? You never really understood how things run in Gotham City. I brought you out here all the way from Chicago. Had such high hopes for you, my boy. I didn't take your job, Gil. You lost it in a cesspool of corruption and graft. Always the altar boy, Jimmy. That part about you never impressed me. And I wouldn't get too comfortable in that chair. There's a reason it has wheels on it. You might have ridden in here by making your constituents think they could rest easy around the holidays. But Alberto Falcone is out of jail now. And Harvey Dent is... Don't bring Dent into this. Two-Face, is that what they're calling him these days? <laughs> Shame what happened there. I had a hand in getting him the DA's job, too. Had a hand in more things than you'll ever know. The city council has their eye on you. I told them that someone with my... Experience would be a good idea. You've got a cop killer out there now. People don't like it when it's about cops. Makes them feel uneasy. You got lucky last time. All you had were some cheap hoods for victims. I earned this job on a lot more than just the holiday case. Yes, sir. Always like that view. I was planning out the menu for Thanksgiving, Master Bruce, and wondered if perhaps this year we might set the table for more than just one. More than ever, I have come to appreciate the solitude of the cave beneath my father's house. Even the occasional interruption from Alfred cannot deter me from my investigation. O'Hara's Neck it wasn't broken like in traditional hangings where the body is dropped. The angle of the abrasions, here, point towards being hoisted up and off the ground. Yes, yeah, sir, I was thinking along the lines of Selena Kyle. She always brings a certain distraction into your life. But in order for O'Hara not to have used his hands to struggle, the noose would have had to contract quickly the moment it went over his head, quick enough that he probably blacked out before he strangled to death. 
I'm not even sure it was a rope. It may have been a cord of some sort. I found something like that in Scarecrow's cell at Arkham. Catwoman's bola has the same tensile strength, too. Unless we forget the trusty bat rope, too. Gordon can't give me the same sort of access to the evidence room as before. This Janice Porter woman in the DA's office is proving she can be difficult. A world without Harvey Dent in it. I wish I could find him. I searched his home. An entirely different family lives there now, and yet... I can't shake the feeling that Harvey is part of this somehow. But I was wrong about him being Holiday, and... I can't afford to be wrong again. There's nothing wrong with being wrong, sir. If I'm not infallible on the occasion. Batman can't be. I never discussed this with you, Alfred, but I was nearly ready to tell Harvey just before his accident. Tell him what, sir? The truth. About who I was. About my parents. All of it. He would have been the only one. Other than you, to know. Well then, given how things turned out, aren't we glad that you didn't? Maybe, Alfred. Or maybe if I had told him, Harvey wouldn't have pushed himself so hard. He might have trusted me more, if I had trusted him. On Halloween night, Harvey Dent escaped, or was kidnapped from Arkham Asylum, gone, without a trace. For decades, the Gotham City crime cartel was ruled by the Falcone family, Carmine the Roman Falcone being the last true crime lord until Harvey Dent sent him to his grave, a grave that has now been disturbed. I don't appreciate being summoned out here in the dead of night, Falcone. I have to agree with Jim on this one, Mario. Mario? The district attorney's office isn't some all-night gas station that you can just pull into and use. I understand both of your concerns, and I'm in no way trying to take advantage of my... of either of you or your time. But the disappearance of my father's body, the subsequent dismemberment of his hand has my sister Sophia I I'm doing what I can to clean up the Falcone name in Gotham City that's why I'm offering you access to Jesus for the nothing you go to this cop this friend of Dens Gordon can't even keep his own people safe what's he gonna do for us the family will handle this Alberto not some outsider. You mean, Mario? What the hell are you talking about? <sighs> Sophia, you, you just called me Alberto. I did not. I should know who my own brother is, even if he isn't acting like one. These men are private detectives, hired to protect my father's grave. They're licensed to carry firearms. If any of you interfere with them, you have to show cause in front of a judge in the morning. Fine. Oh, what a lovely bunch of coconuts. I guess. Jim, I'm sorry I even dragged you into this. I just didn't feel comfortable meeting Falcone in a graveyard at night. It's not like I was doing anything else. I, um, didn't mean... Look, I know you're going through some tough times at home, and you don't need me making it any worse at work. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want to have Thanksgiving dinner together? Maybe get started on a new foot. I appreciate the offer, Jim, I really do, but I've already got dinner plans. You do? Y yes. Why do you sound so surprised? I just thought, you know, being new to town, not really knowing anyone, you'd... you wouldn't have plans, that's all. Well, I do. Can we go now? It's cold. Coconuts. Despite being convicted for the holiday killings, Alberto Falcone was later ordered free by a manipulation of the courts. There are stipulations to his release. He is not allowed off the property of his grandfather's estate near Wayne Manor. His every movement is monitored by an electric collar around his ankle. You can't stop now. 
Who is that? They'll forget you! Come out from behind! There? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Answer me! Who are you? Thanksgiving in Gotham City. <laughs> You're hungry, aren't you? Well, we can certainly be thankful that Miss Kyle didn't have a previous commitment for this evening. And aren't we thankful that Bruce Wayne, millionaire playboy, had room in his busy schedule? Hmm? Oh, busy, right. Selena. Thanksgiving, in my father's house, mostly. I remember waiting until he would come home from the hospital before we could eat. The turkey was often cold by then. Even so, I had the sense that this meal is intended to be with family, of which I have none. You should require anything else. Thanks, Alfred. I think we can handle it from here on in. Hi. Remember me? Answers. The game, as um, you know, is Hangman. Originally, it was considered to be based on cryptography, but it doesn't follow that pattern. A cryptogram would have letters that were substituted for other ones, what some people call codes. The idea is to fill in the blank spaces before the drawing of the hanged man is completed piece by piece. A hand, a foot, a leg. Some people play with fingers and toes, but it is random guessing, uh, possibly indicating that either the killer is acting randomly, or... Or? I mean, I'm sure you realize this. You can't play hangman by yourself, or else you would already know the answers. And since these letters were already filled in, and these off to the side indicate choices that weren't part of the puzzle, I'd ha have to guess that this is a game being played by two people. Did... did you already know all that, Batman? So, what do a hangman and a piano player have in common? They both need a <laughs> chord to strike! <laughs> God, I love that one! Former Commissioner Gillian B. Loeb was everything that was wrong with the Gotham City Police Department. He made no bones about being friends with the likes of Carmine the Roman Falcone and Sal the Boss Maroney. So corrupt, many thought he actually flaunted it because no one would dare to take him down. We did it though, myself, then Lieutenant James Gordon, and a young, courageous district attorney named Harvey Dent. <laughs> <laughs> 